This is a Czech Republic BDP Combat Ration Menu 1. Now after joining NATO in 1999, the Czechs developed this 3,200 calorie 24 hour ration. Now each year the outer packaging's color changes for quick identification purposes. So for an example, in 2014, this outer pack was blue, and in 2015 the outer pack was red. So without further ado, let's give this thing a look. Okay, so right off the bat, we have a content sheet and in a little clear baggie. It also has a hefty amount of napkins and some what seem to be moist towelettes and some basic preparation instructions. Okay, so right off the bat, we got some potato goulash, some short loin with rice. Cool. Both of those are 300 gram soft cans. It looks like we got some lunch meat. Nice little 125 gram can. And then also some crisp bread. Got corn crisp breads and whole wheat crisp bread. Some pate with cheese. And three servings of strawberry jam. And we got a multivitamin drink. Got an instant fruit drink. Two servings of instant coffee small chocolate bar, some chewing gum, eight five gram packets of sugar, two two gram packs of salt, a second small chocolate bar, and two black teas. That looks pretty good once it's laid out. Let's first start off with breakfast. Okay, so for breakfast we're first going to be starting off with that pate with cheese. This stuff, I'm telling you, this is going to be a real hit or miss, almost guaranteed. Looks like it was produced sometime in August or September of 2014. And then what literally translates out to corn crispy slices with roughage. You can pretty much guarantee anything with the word roughage in it. You know things can be moving. Nice. All right. Well, I'll first start off with the corn crisp breads. Looks like you get five of these things in there. Oh, wow. Those have a very nice kind of... Smells like Captain Crunch, <laughs> just not sweet. Really has a very pleasant corn grain kind of smell to them. You know, before I go any further, I just gotta get one little bite. Mmm. It really has the, the flavor of a corn tortilla. Mmm. And it's not as crispy as much as um, just kind of a tender, soft crunch. So I'm actually gonna check out the drinks first. Starting with that coffee and tea. And next, let's check out that pate with cheese. I'm curious to see how this is looking. Oh well, wow. that's, well, looks a little different from what I expected. Smells nice. And also that vitamin drink, which has just turned into several hard chunks. Let's check out that jam. Kind of looks like it's had a little bit of separation to it. Mix it up a little bit. The actual consistency of this jam is almost like a puree. Kind of has a the look and consistency of almost like some sort of strawberry sauce. I'll say this, it spreads easily and it has just a very lightly sweet and mm, almost like strawberry concentrate kind of flavor. Okay, so let's check out the pate and cheese. 
very nice, very creamy and smooth consistency to the appearance. Let's try it out. Oh wow, that's a very interesting combination. Mmm. Oh, that is, that is one of the most delicious pâtés I've ever had. You know, considering for a lot of folks the off-putting nature of pâté for being, you know, that liver flavor, a lot of times a little too much iron, a little too metallic, the cheese offsets that flavor of iron, the metallic flavor. It's an excellent pairing of, I mean, this here would be perfect for breakfast. Gotta say, it spreads perfectly. Okay, so let's first check out this corn crisp bread with this pate. Hmm. You know, it's incredible. Again, it tastes like a corn tortilla with some sort of, hmm. I mean, actually now it tastes like almost like you're having, hmm, it's perfectly savory and lightly buttery pate on a very mild sort of crisp bread. Hmm. It's so easy to eat. It really is perfect for breakfast. This is incredible. It's quick and easy to eat. It's lightly salted. And again, the cheese. I mean, it's not overpowering. There's no sort of sharpness to the cheese. It just really has almost like a processed cheese kind of flavor. Mm. Mm. This is a perfect pairing. Absolutely amazing. And that crisp bread maintains its shape when you're eating it. It doesn't make a mess everywhere. That was amazing. Okay, so I want to check out that multivitamin drink. Okay, so that's interesting. This is lightly effervescent. It has a little bit of carbonation to it. And it's just a very light lime multivitamin kind of drink. It almost tastes like airborne or some sort of cold remedy drink. Now, I actually find this thing pleasant. Some people might not feel the same. But to me, I feel like when I'm drinking something like that, it's not for tasting like fruit juice. It's for the benefit of getting your vitamins and still being relatively palatable. So let's check out this tea. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than English breakfast. Like almost like Irish breakfast, but not quite so dark and malty. That's a really nice, well-balanced, medium to bold black tea. Now, actually, before I try out the coffee, let me, let me check out this jam on the crisp bread. Mm. Well, I gotta say, the jam is delicious, but it soaks into the cracker so much that when you're when you're chewing on this, you know, or crisp bread, that mm, it's a very light on the strawberry flavor when it's paired with this crisp bread. But each pat of that strawberry jam was a very small portion, so really, to put one whole pat of jam on a crisp bread. It's almost like if you want to have bursting strawberry flavor, you'd have to put two pats on one crisp bread. Otherwise, it's just a little light on the flavor. It's still very pleasant, and it would be perfect for breakfast. Again, just a very light, very easy to eat, not offensive to any sort of palate, or difficult to eat in the morning for being too strong of a flavor kind of deal. Mm, now this coffee. Wow. It's just like that Czech IMRE that I had. The coffee, it's just so incredibly smooth. And the bitterness is pretty much non-existent. Light on the acidity, no bitterness. I mean, that coffee is perfect. I mean, there's a reason why there's no creamer. And essentially, I think it's perfect with just the one five gram pack of sugar added. So let's finish up this breakfast. Gotta say, breakfast was not bad. I'm gonna finish up the coffee and this tea. Eat that last crisp bread and move it on to lunch. All right, and for lunch, we're gonna be starting off with some pork potato goulash. And you're supposed to boil this in the can for about six to eight minutes. And as soon as you do that, you make sure you get it out onto a tray and say, nice. Anyway, I wanna first start off with that lunch meat. Got that nice little easy pull tab. Oh wow, look at the um, nice fat separation. It's actually a pretty decent looking luncheon meat. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh wow, that smells incredible. It smells like bacon. That's amazing. Can't wait to check that out here in a second. In the meantime, got some more instant coffee. Let's 
Let's check out the um, wheat crisp bread next. It actually has the smell of fresh books. <laughs> Almost like bleached paper. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's actually kind of a pleasant smell. And while we're at it, we're going to Go ahead and unwrap the uh, chocolate. Let's see if this is bloomed. I don't think it has. Well, that's cool. Get six little separated chunks of 53%, essentially a light dark chocolate. Now this soft metal can, it's very similar to that Polish SR we just checked out, or a German EPA can, which I have one of those on the shelf we'll be checking out. So, ooh, wow. I immediately smell a really pleasant. Well, this isn't very. The can isn't real easy to open. I don't want it to spill. This has an incredibly savory smell to it. Those little pieces of potato, very small cuts. All right, so I want to first check out that pork and potato goulash. Get a good look at this. This has such an incredibly savory, homemade, home-cooked kind of smell to it. Looking good. Mm. Oh, wow, that pork is incredibly tender. Mm. Mm, that's slow-cooked. Mm. Oh, wow, that's goulash. It actually has a light spice to it. It's a little bit spicy. I didn't expect that at all. That's the first thing that's pretty interesting. It's very flavorful. Mm. The potatoes are extremely tender along with the pork. Seems to be a relatively good quality cut of pork. Slow-cooked. Mm. And this broth it has a pretty decent fat content. I mean, you know, a lot of these dishes might be savory, pretty salty. Other than that, relatively simple. Mm. But this, there's like a light pepper added. I'm not sure what kind. Mm. This is an incredibly savory and delicious home-cooked kind of flavor to it meal. Oh, wow. Look at this cut of pork. That's where it's at. Mm. That is absolutely delicious. So now I gotta check out that lunch loaf. Look at that. Mm, the fats. Oh wow. I can imagine if you heated this up, it would have a, um, like if you fried it. Hmm. It is almost like what it's like. That is just amazing right there. That is, that right there is where it's at. The best part of this, <laughs> the um, the congealed fats, it is so good on these crisp breads. It just gives this sort of buttery consistency that I just, the only way I can truly follow it up in any sort of proper way is with this strawberry jam. And um, this stuff here really has almost a fruit snack strawberry flavor. I can't explain it, like a strawberry concentrate. The perfect follow-up flavor. And this coffee being as exceptionally smooth as it is. I mean, this stuff here has to be some of the smoothest mm. of all the coffees. Actually, it really does have that coffee instant type one sort of quality in a good way. This jam, my only complaint about this is they don't give you enough. Mm. It really does have a different and interesting strawberry flavor. It's not like normal strawberry jam. So let's check out that chocolate. Looking good. Mmm. It's not overly firm like a lot of dark chocolate. It bites in very easily. Mmm. It's lightly sweet. It's not overly strong. That reminds me of Dutch chocolate. Mmm. That is amazing. That's of utmost quality. It has a, a fine, mmm, wispy kind of texture. I'm glad this stuff hasn't bloomed yet. I mean, I actually could imagine they'd have a relatively decent shelf life if stored properly, that dark chocolate. Mmm. Perfect pairing for that last bite. Oh yeah. Truly decadent. I gotta say, this thing, this whole ration so far has been fantastic. Mmm. I'm gonna finish this up and then later on today we can go check out dinner. Okay, and for dinner we're gonna be having a light meal, sh beef short loin with rice, another tea, and some dark chocolate. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Anyway, I want to first start off with that beef short loin with rice. This is a pretty hot can. You know, that's always the issue with these soft cans is open them up when they're piping hot. 
it's uh, sometimes a little tricky. All right. Oh wow, that looks decent. Okay. Kind of a gelatinous mass of rice, but it still doesn't look bad. And the actual cuts of beef, that, that is a real saving grace. That looks fantastic. But the actual rice really has a typical compressed military ration rice look to it. But from the smell of it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this ration, that's for sure. It smells amazing. That drink mix um, definitely has a kind of caked a little bit. It has a very brilliant citrus note to it. Oh wow, like a very strong orange citrus oil kind of. Oh wow, that is incredible. Mm. Oh wow, that has a brilliant citrus overtone and mm, the citrus oils, I mean, it really tastes like grapefruit because it's lightly bitter. Actually, more than just lightly bitter, it's, um, yeah, that tastes like straight up grapefruit juice. All right, so let's check this out. Beef. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. That's better than the pork and potato goulash. And this is, there's some sort of, um, mm, you know, the, the seasonings that they put in this. This isn't cheap. You know, those cuts of beef, that's actually decent. The rice, although it looks kind of like prefab, cubed out, sort of MRE style, you know, retort pouch shape kind of rice, it, it actually tastes amazing. Mm. It's just very soft. It's just a very easy to eat, pleasant, savory. There are complexities though. A little bit of onion. Mm. There's just this refreshing undertone of bay leaf that couples with that savory base. It's lightly salted and, you know, maybe to some palates they could add salt and they do have the option. For me, I feel like it's perfectly seasoned. The perfect salt and seasoning level. Mmm. This is delicious. I mean, you know, this Czech BDP, the mains, and the lunch meat sides, this entire ration, this thing has been of utmost quality throughout. The, uh, the sides, the, the luncheon meat, the pâtés, all the drinks, that coffee, and now this tea. And this, th this drink mix is just incredible. Hmm. Wow. I, I'll bet this could mix out to a liter, you know, safely. You could probably mix it in a liter and it'd still have like a grapefruit drink kind of flavor. But this tastes like straight up grapefruit juice. I can taste some B vitamins. Vitamin B6, I can taste it in there. Mm. So it's enriched. This is amazing. Oh wow, I wish it was more of that. Not bad. If this ration couldn't get any better, we've got more of this chocolate. <laughs> I love this saying. 3,200 calories of goodness. The only calories I haven't fully finished in this ration so far, I have in the garbage bag that it came with. Look, right? Four crisps and some packs of sugar. The corn crisp, I have one of these left. Three of the wheat. I like the corn crisp more. I'm gonna finish that one. The other ones, I'll probably save for breakfast tomorrow. This here, I'm gonna finish this up right now. This is amazing. Gotta say, mmm. Check BDP. It's a quality ration down to the napkin. Now, the only thing left to check out before I finish up the rest of this dinner here, I am going to lightly chew on one piece of gum just to kind of test it out. All right, so here is the chewing gum. This looks pretty intense. Hopefully this doesn't wreck my palate because I still have dinner here. Mm. This is usually why I forget to test out the gum. Oh wow, that bites down so easy, like a very tender piece of gum. It's not overly strong like I thought it'd be. It's actually a very light mint flavor and it's very pleasant. Well, I'm gonna finish this up. <laughs> Gotta say, this Czech BDP menu one, definitely one of the best. Well anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video and I'll be coming back at you with something new or old.
All right, cool. See ya.